As we bring our prayers of adoration and confession, we also hear these words of God's pardon and grace as we move forward. The mercy of our God is from everlasting to everlasting. Friends, hear and believe the good news of the gospel. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven and made new. Give thanks for God's generosity and share with your neighbors. Amen. Today, we are going to celebrate. And I am so happy to introduce a family that I've met just recently. But an interesting thing, if you don't mind me mentioning this, um, they come to us in a little bit of a different way. And it's a way that I think we need to be very attentive to over the next years of our life together as a congregation. Because they tell me they first started worshiping with us online. That's where they saw us. And that's where they've been following us. When we put the, this video that we're doing right now, and we put it online on YouTube, and they've been following us. It's a wonderful gift that you made that known to us, so that we can be challenged to move forward in welcoming people from the online community. Now that's one piece. But I welcome uh, Kristen and Christopher as they bring their little one, Lucas. But I need Sandra to come down and do this introduction, not me. But I want to the family to come and gather around this young family together. Oh my goodness. We're going to make copies now of the service. Uh, you have the service, do you? Uh, somebody does that here, yes. Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to have to take just a little bit of time, but as they make copies so that we can get it spread around to you. I could actually just uh, let people know what we're saying, but they'll help us. Sandra, could you please officially introduce them? We present Lucas Andras Sue for initiation into the body of Christ through baptism. Christopher and Kristen and John. Yeah. <laughs> I have asked you, will you accept the responsibility of acting and speaking on your child's behalf? Will you endeavor to show your child the Christian life and grow with, with him in his faith? If so answer, I will not be you. And as you know, because we have practiced this, we have not practiced, we have celebrated this a few times recently. And little Mabel back there was baptized a few months back. 
So Mabel, you're an example for Lucas to me. Is this on? Are you hearing me? You are. Okay. We, we seem to be having some technology issues. So we all participate. We all are part of this baptizing community. And so we're going to speak these things along with your family, okay? Desiring the freedom of new life in Christ, do you turn away from the forces of evil and renounce their power? If so, I answer, I do by the grace of God. And do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as Savior and Lord? If so, answer, I do by the grace of God. I do. And do you commit yourself to the mission and ministry of Christ's church? If so, answer, I do by the grace of God. Amen. Please, everyone stand. As a baptized and a baptizing church, do you commit yourselves to support and nurture these persons within a community which worships God, resists evil, and seeks justice? If so, answer, we do. We do. Now at the back of the hymn book, the red hymn book, Voices United, on page 918, there is a creed, the United Church Creed, that I'm asking us to speak, and since we can't see it on the screen, you might open it to the back of your book. And we speak this statement of our faith together. We are not alone. We live in God's world. We believe in God who has created and is created, who has come in Jesus, the Word made flesh to reconcile and make you, who works in us and others by the Spirit. We trust in God. We are called to be the church, to celebrate God's presence, to love and serve others, to seek justice and resist evil, to proclaim Jesus crucified and risen, our judge and our hope. In life, in death, in life beyond death, God is with us. We are not alone. Thanks be to God. There's more coming. Thank you, Mary, and others that have put those other pieces together. You may be seated. We're going to talk about this in just a moment. We're going to have some good things happening here. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is right to give thanks and praise. So we speak this, it's a, really a, a prayer of thanksgiving with the pouring of the water that we have just done. Blessed are you, O God, ruler of the universe, maker of heaven and earth, keeper of sky and sea. In you, in your goodness, you give us the sign of water. At the beginning, your spirit was at work, brooding over the waters of creation, creation's birth, breaking the waters with the word of power, bringing forth life in all its fullness. Over and over again, you have shown your grace to us as water, cleansing the earth at the flood, parting of the exodus at the Red Sea, flowing from the rock in the wilderness. Blessed are you, our God. In Jesus, you promised that all who thirst could come to the living water. He who was baptized in the water of repentance becomes for us the never-failing spring, welling up to eternal life. As he suffered for us, the piercing of his side brought forth water and blood, sign of death that we all die in him, so that we may also rise with him. Blessed are you, our God. Therefore, eternal and present God, 
We bless you for the water with which you bless us. Therefore, we pray that those who are given to the waters of life will live in your grace, knowing the death and the resurrection of Jesus. Send, O oh God, your Holy Spirit upon us and upon this water, that all who are gathered under this sign, being one in Christ, may be nurtured, nurtured by the bread of life. And now to God be given all glory, praise, honor, and might. Blessed be you, God, forever. Amen. And I have talked with the family because I'm very aware that children don't always like to be handed over into the arms of somebody they don't know and then covered with water. That just isn't the way the children like to be handled. So mom's going to hold on to the dish while I do the, the sprinkling of the water. In the United Church of Canada, we recognize infant baptism. And as the child becomes of an age where they might make the statements themselves, they will confirm the statements of their baptism as they move forward in their faith journey. So Lucas, I baptize you in the name of the Father, And of the Holy Spirit. Lucas, with the sign of the cross, I mark you as Christ's forever. May the power of the Holy Spirit work within you, that being born of water and the Spirit, you may be a faithful witness of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, you're wondering, aren't you? With the amazing eyes of wonder that you're getting this. Now, as you are baptized, we have a certificate of your baptism for your family to hold on to and for you to be reminded as you grow that this happened today. You've been recognized in a public way as a member of the body of Christ, a blessed child of God. This is your certificate in the life of the church of your baptism. And we give you the, your, your mom and dad, you might as well say it right. This candle with your name on it, this is your baptism candle. And perhaps at some point along the way, you might just open this candle and on special moments, in your life, light this and remember the gift of God in your family. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, we yeah, give those to you, Gary, and the whole lot of And I don't know if anybody had already, if you wanted to take a picture while they're standing here, now's the best time to do it. But maybe there's not a place. Uh, Sam will take a picture. I'll take one more. She'll get, she'll get a picture to you now. Beautiful and one close up. There you go. There. I'll send it. Bless you all and have a seat for now. And we're going to have another sacrament that you can take part in, all of you together. Thank you so much. Well, I did have one thing to say. Sandy, please come back. You sit down. Uh, but you come here, Sandy, with me. We are going to give them a handshake, okay? And this is the handshake of fellowship, we call it. Welcoming you, welcoming you into the family of Christ. And we hear the last words of this special event today, this baptism. All who join in the baptismal covenant are the body of Christ 
in the world. Go in peace.